Americans finally seeing some relief at the pump, and it could be some good news for the Biden administration to Yahoo Finance a senior columnist. Rick Newman is here on set with us to explain. And Rick, we've talked a number of times about how important gas prices are to voters. Clearly, this is a good news here for the Biden administration. Is it enough, though? Because that's a big question. Well, it depends what happens. So the news here is that uh, the Biden administration did a briefing today, and they, they are kind of predicting that gas prices are going to fall another 50 cents per gallon from where they are right now. So right now, about $4.65 a gallon. And they don't know anything that nobody else knows. All they're doing is looking at the wholesale price. There's a lag between the wholesale price and the retail price. But the wholesale price has been coming down. And that was before what happened today. I mean, oil price is down another 8% today. Yeah. Um, so that is going to bring, I mean, that's, that's great news for drivers. So I looked at WTI. Um, just before I walked out, $95. If I don't know if it's going to stay there because the Russia war is a real problem that's going to, is pushing up uh, oil and gas prices. But if it stays there, um, we could see gas prices coming back close to $4 by, um, I don't know, August or the beginning of September. And obviously, that's keeping a lot of people wondering what this means in terms of politics. Yesterday, we were talking about President Biden and the Democrats looking perhaps to have a different candidate on the ticket in 2024. But now we're seeing a poll showing that half of Republicans don't want Trump to run in 2024. What's happening? OK, I can. there's no way I can make a, c a connection between gas prices in July of 22 <laughs> and who the uh, presidential candidates are going to be in 2024. I mean, I guess it's interesting to have this conversation and, you know, do the horse, the horse race thing two years ahead of time. Who's going to run? Democrats apparently don't want Biden to run for re-election. Now, this, uh, another New York Times poll shows Republicans don't want Donald Trump to run for re-election. I don't think any of this is surprising. These are two old guys um, and voters are sick of the old guys. They want younger, newer, fresher candidates, which I think makes perfect sense. A lot's going to happen before 2024. I don't know if gas prices are going to be the biggest deal in 24 or it could be something else. Um, we got to get this war in Ukraine finished uh, before I think we get to talking about that. You know, I, I thought the headline was a little deceiving in that New York Times piece because, yes, 49 percent of Republicans don't want President Trump to run, but he is still the leader. He is still the overwhelming favorite for the GOP nomination, 49-25 against Rick DeSantis. So, yes, some say uh, the people are tired of him, but he is easily the front runner for the nomination of 24. But I want to circle back to the call that the White House had about inflation. Presumably, is that priming the pump for a bad number on yeah. inflation overall? Hey, look, gas <laughs> prices are coming down yes. when we get hit with an 8.8 .8 tomorrow. Yeah, that's exactly right. Now, they did say on this briefing, we have not seen the inflation report. Uh, we don't know what's, what it's going to be. I take them at their word on that. Um, but uh, economists are saying it could be higher still than we saw in the last reading, which was 8.6 percent infl annual inflation, now, you're right. A good a good prediction is 8.8 percent. So what the White House is trying to say is, uh, as far as the energy component of that, that is based on prices in June, um, which is a, which is when pr gas prices actually peaked. To the peak gas price was five dollars and two cents. That was around the middle of June, um, and that's going to be what's reflected in the CPI report tomorrow. Now we do know gas prices are lower; they're they're about 35, 40 cents below that level right now. So in that regard, it's lagging. If the, if they're right, if the White House is right about this, that means the good news is going to come in the uh, inflation report for uh, July, which will come in the middle of August, because that will reflect declining gas prices. By the way, we're also seeing declining prices for commodities and other components at the wholesale level, which does suggest we are, I don't know if we've hit the peak of inflation, but we could we could be right about there. Yeah, Rick, Biden has been criticized, even from members of his own party, just in terms of the messaging. They need to change the messaging when it comes to inflation. We've seen him do things like he did today, try to get out ahead of that news. But do you think that will be enough? No. Um, I, I don't think there is any good messaging when inflation is, let's call it 9 percent, and when gas prices are $5 a gallon. I don't, I don't know how you can message your way out of that problem. Um, you, just, you, could, you just have to get inflation down. And we know that's not the job of the president. It is the job of the Federal Reserve. Uh, it, it, it's also true. I mean, Biden has overstated this. It's, but it's definitely true that the Russian war in Ukraine has added 20, let's say $30 to the price of a barrel of oil that is reflected in gas prices everywhere in the world. Um, I mean, I've made the case that the one thing Biden could do that would most help 
um, bring oil prices down by a lot is beat the Russians on the battlefield in Ukraine. End that war as fast as you can, but that you can't do that fast either. So um, there's just not a lot Biden can do. I think what Democrats want is they want him to be more intense. They want him to be more of a fighter. And uh, he talks the talk sometimes, but it's just not his personality. He's not combative. Um, he's a nice guy. You know, he doesn't go around insulting people just be, just, you know, just to get likes on Twitter. So that's who we got for his president. Got to have a fighter. And that's why probably Gavin Newsom got traction with that ad because yeah. it was some spite. It was uh, some spunk that so they we can talk in, we can talk in the future about Gavin Newsom versus Ron DeSantis. That'll Ooh. be interesting. That'll boy. be a good one. I'll tell you what. Well, we are getting ahead of ourselves. We are <laughs> way ahead of ourselves.